Okay, hello everyone. I'm Swan Kim from South Korea. Uh, today I will talk about AI convergence education for K-12 in Korea. Uh, my major is computer science education and my doctoral paper is about developing computational thinking. So I'm involved in some work in Korea. For example, I made the software textbook and computing textbook and managing teacher training course. Uh, also research uh, assessment for computational thinking. I first met Scratch during my PhD course in 2008 and my life have changed since then. I'm still teaching and researching Scratch. The education system in Korea are overseen by the Ministry of Education, which has developed a national curriculum for K-12 education. It is very powerful. Uh, it means all students can learn uh, same curriculum for K-12. Uh, schools in Korea, Korea are uh, either national public, about 70% or private around 30%. The age group involved in education system are divided into four categories, kindergarten for age fifth to sixth, and elementary school for ages seven to 12, and middle schools for ages uh, 13 to 15, and high school student 16 to 18, Elementary school and middle school are compulsory. First of all, let's talk about the state of education in Korea. The number of K-12 schools in South Korea is shown in this table. There are about uh, 6,000 elementary school and 3,000 middle school and 2,000 high school. and there are about 2,600,000 primary school students and middle school students uh, did and high school students and uh, one, about 1 million. This graph shows the number of devices for students over the past three years, although it has been increasing slightly each year it has not yet reached one device per student. Uh, as of 2022, students have about 0 0.3 devices per person per student. Recently, each regional education office has started to distribute one device per one student. We try. In addition, the number of devices per teacher is just the same as shown in this graph. Teachers use on average about two devices uh, per or teachers. They usually have computers in the classroom as well as personal uh, computer for their work uh, purpose. In Korea, Computing education in refer to as a, a software education. We call uh, computing education software education, which is a policy term. As seen in this chart before 2009, we focused the mainly on ICT education. For example, using the internet or using PowerPoint and word processor. So we uh, this teaches uh, thought the uh, application uh, about um, like as um, PPT or PowerPoint Excel. Uh, in the revised curriculum 2000, computer science is uh, first introduced into K-12 education. In the 2015 revised curriculum, Software education was officially made mandatory in elementary school and middle school. In 2022 revised curriculum, last year, we made the new curriculum 
uh, it um, involved the digital retrush was introduced into all subjects and AI education was made mandatory. In the 2015 revised curriculum, it was taught as a required subject for 17 hours in elementary school and uh, 34 hours in middle school and as an elective subject, uh, for example, informatics or information science in high school. In the 2022 revised curriculum, the time for computing education, software education has been doubled in both elementary and middle school. In addition, several new courses related to computing or AI have been introduced in high school. This slide shows how the 2022 revised curriculum emphasized digital literacy and computational thinking. Uh, basic digital literacy instruction will be provided each course. In addition, coding and computational thinking will be emphasized in the informatics subject. In addition, a variety of courses in high school will offer advanced courses that use coding and computational thinking to solve complex and interdisciplinary problems. Uh, for example, uh, other subject uh, data using other subject data. So this illustration shows the structure of high school course. High school students first study common subject, for example, language, math, or science and society, informatics. Uh, after that, students can choose general elective or study career elective. Alternatively, they can study an interdisciplinary elective, for example, AI basic subject. Uh, so this slide presents a picture of talent of uh, future society. We set four uh, talent uh, factors. Uh, first is a self-direct person, and second, creative person, uh, third, educated person, fourth, uh, people who live together, and we set the core competency. One is self-care, and second, authentic sensibility, and third, knowledge information processing, and fourth, uh, creative thinking, and fifth, and collaborative communication competency, and sixth, uh, community competency. It is a core uh, competency for new curriculum. Uh, especially, we set the informatics competency uh, three competency. One is the computational thinking, and second, digital retrush, and third, AI retrush. So uh, we set the informa in informatics competency is a three competency. In Korea, the informatics curriculum, informatics subject, uh, has been based on computer science. In the 2022 revised curriculum, we reflect the 2020 computing curriculum by ACM. Do you know computing curriculum, uh, 22 by ACM? Uh, it is a new computing curriculum uh, globally. So for example, due to the influence of data science, here is data science added in 22 globally, the data science subject was in, introduced in high school in new in curriculum. So this chart shows the structure of in, informatics curriculum. In elementary school, uh, it is included as a unit within practical course. And middle school had the uh, informatics subject and high school 
it is connected to informa informatics subject and as a general elective AI basic subject, data science, data science subject, information science subject, and convergence subject is software and life subject. Also, digital literacy education is applied to all subjects in the curriculum. This means that students are not only learning about digital literacy in their computer science classes, but also in subjects such as language art, social study, mathematics, and science. The goal of this approach is to equip students with the necessary skill to navigate the digital world and to be able to use digital and AI in a responsibly and effective manner. This includes skills such as digital communication and digital safety and security and creative um, critical thinking and ethical use of technology. So this table will show the detailed content of each subject. For example, the informatics subject consists of computing system and data algorithm and programming and AI and digital culture. Also, AI basic, AI basic subject uh, has four components, uh, a, a understanding of AI and AI and AI uh, learning, uh, for example, especially machine learning method and social impact of AI and finally, AI project. AI basic in elective course available high school student in this course. Stu st students primarily run machine learning algorithm and programming and perform AI project. And the software and life course is designed to teach uh, integration of software development month with other subjects. For instance, students perform projects related to subjects such as art and music and social study and science and mathematics. The software and life courses, new subjects in and the textbook is currently being developed. We are also very uh, curious about what the text will cover. As on this table below, the subject area since area should include elements of knowledge and skill and attitude, which are commonly you know known as KSA factors. This curriculum has presented the KSA factor as fellow. This shows the AI unit. AI, AI unit in the middle school informatics subject. The content framework of the revised curriculum is represented by the core idea, knowledge and skill and attitude. Core idea are similar concept to what you may know as a big idea. Uh, they describe the competency that students will acquire after learning the content. Core idea are uh, fundamental concept that connect multiple areas and a subject and provide a foundation for deeper understanding. As I previously mentioned, the high school informatics subject includes five areas and the artificial area, artificial unit is presented in this table. Students will learn, can learn how to apply the example machine learning and they learn in middle school. So they expand to real world problem. Indeed, since this uh, educational curriculum was changed, we are also eager to see what content will be included in the textbook. 
I often lecture on AI convergence education uh, to teachers and present the ideal direction for education in Korea. This diagram represents the direction I pursue. First, uh, teaching computational thinking through software education and AI education in the informatics subject. Then, moving forward by integration, integrating with other subjects to solve problems in the curriculum. As various studies have shown, this approach is even more effective when it includes the step of identifying which specific problem students are solving within of the larger picture by using computational thinking to solve a problem, gain a more comprehensive view of the issues at hand, students can learn to apply critical thinking and analytical skills to real world problems. This approach can help students develop a deep understanding of the challenges they face and the tools and the techniques needed to address them effectively. So I really want to students can learn or can view a big picture and stay with systemic, systemic thinking. However, in actual classroom setting, it can be difficult to distinguish the level of integration. Integration, As you know, there are various levels in the convergence of integration. And while there are academic terms to distinguish them, it can be difficult to deter different tonate them in actual classes on lesson. So I would like to recommend Dr. Ruben's SAMR model, which can serve as a guide to ensure that AI convergence does not become like a false fit. I always advise teachers not to apply AI into their curriculum to forcefully. The reason for this is that there are times when a analog approach to teaching is more important. Many teachers tend to think that using educational technology, technology is always good for teaching. Recently, there have been cases of indiscriminately introducing chat GPT into K-12 education. It is important to approach this issue with caution. Therefore, I think Dr. Ruben's framework is very useful. We should always consider whether the educational technology or AI we use helps students develop the thinking, higher thinking skill they need. It is very important point, I think. This approach is also well illustrated in Josh's book, Creative Coding, which supports the idea of true integration of computer science from multiple angles. For example, it showcases an example of how computer science can be integrated into other subjects such as math or science and social studies. I highly recommend that you read this book. Integrating computer science into various subjects can help students develop computational thinking and problem solving ability that are essential in today's rapidly evolving world. In Korea, in the Ministry of Education and local education office are making effort to teach AI research to all teachers. As a part, those efforts 
I and my fellow uh, collaborated with Seoul Metropolitan Office of Education to create an AI research framework for all teachers, all subject teachers. This model is designed all teachers in all subjects. It includes the concept of literacy that is necessary for teachers to know the principle of AI and apply them their subject. As teachers in subjects other than informatics may not have a good understanding of AI. So this framework begins with education on the concept and principle about AI of AI and it then expand the problem solving using from various subject other subject based on principle of AI. Finally it, it uh, culminated in solving complex problem through AI integration. This framework aimed to go beyond simply using just AI tools or service and focuses on connecting AI tool or service to problem solving. Uh, excuse me, so I can't interrupt you. Yes. Uh, but this, uh, it's a lot of things we would like to learn better, but in this point, I would like to ask you for your experience, because we know uh, that when we're introducing some new tools or program at schools, uh, most of the times the teachers are the most difficult to, 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 to accept these changes, isn't it? I think this is common in <laughs> everywhere. So sometimes if you introduce to the students uh, something that's totally new, oh, that's cool. Chat to GPT, oh, that's cool. But how uh, are the teachers accepting or receiving these changes in the curriculum? What, how, how is your experience? What have you feeling about? all these yes. changes please yes i agree i agree with you i uh, it's very very hard work yeah change the teacher's perception so we are trying to just trying to so this framework it helps the can learn the ai principle for teacher so we made the uh, textbook yeah like this uh, for teachers, for all teachers, the first foot uh, AI education. So this uh, edu AI education guidebook uh, include uh, some tools and uh, some lesson plans I show you. And as a result, we made an AI education guidebook that introduced uh, this framework by framework. The book also introduced various AI tool and service that can be easily used across different subjects, including chat GPT or a smart range and AI translator and deep three generator, deep fake, deep fake tool, AI writer. Uh, it is very easily and useful for other subjects. Uh, when proposing AI integration, integrated lesson plans, the most important consideration uh, was to avoid applying AI uh, indiscriminately. It is important to identify problems that are suitable for AI application. As there are problems that are better solved by other methods, uh, some of Sample lesson topic present in this book include create a taekwondo. Do you know taekwondo? Taekwondo is a traditional Korean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sport. <laughs> yeah, taekwondo training program. They write this. Yes, a model to distinguish between mineral like this and create a happiness index and measure students' happiness score. They use the Python code. Yes, uh, for example, creating a Taekwondo training uh, program involves 
the following step. First, students can apply the AI model uh, they have built to Taekwondo training program. The process involves learning the basic Taekwondo post posture and movement in physical education cl class. Next, students collect the Taekwondo kicking data and train the AI model that identifies whether the kicking posture is correct or not. Finally, students practice their kicking using the program they have created. And the other example, uh, uh, it is more advanced uh, AI convergence education lesson plan, create, create an audio tour guidebook program uh, for the visually impaired and create an AI weather forecast. A middle school student can create an AI program to predict air pollution for sustainable development of a city. And high school students can build a robot to correct ocean trashy or predict a cardiovascular disease. Through creating AI model like the one mentioned above, students can learn problem solving with AI and they use various AI coding tools during this process. The most commonly used uh, one's uh, Scratch, you know, Scratch, and uh, Korean version Scratch Entry, and Orange Open Source, or Coda, and uh, Python. Yes, they use the uh, various AI tools and coding tools. The flow of an AI convergence problem solving lesson follow this path. First, students learn about the uh, serious, serious of ocean trash pollution to understand the problem. And then they discuss way to solve the ocean trash problem together. Students create an AI mod model to, for ocean trash collection to help with the solution. Finally, they talk about uh, ways to utilize the AI model for ocean trash collection. Teaching AI research in all subjects is a challenging task. Yeah, Heloisa said, or it's challenging task, I think. And Korea is only uh, in the early stage in this effort. Yeah, it's, I think the first uh, age, first stage, Therefore, many research and educators are collaborating to create better solution and making better solution. I hope to have opportunity in the future to share and further develop uh, such cases globally, like this meeting and this seminar. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm proud of this gathering, this meeting. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting presentation. Thank you for sharing all this stuff and a lot of information. I'm sure that you have a lot of questions. Uh, and also we have all, all the people that joined us. Uh, we have Guilhermina. Hi, Guilhermina. Thank you for coming. Would you like uh, please to introduce it? Where are you from? Yeah. Hi, Glermina. Are you from Mexico? Sorry. Sí, soy de Veracruz, México. <laughs> Buenos días ah. a todos. Gracias. Gracias. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, Gabriele, uh, I don't know. Okay, so if you have questions, uh, please go on. Let's uh, take this opportunity to exchange ideas and talk about the very interesting subject and 
present for our dear friend Solankin. Adele, so you can start, please. Uh, thank you so much for the presentation. It was extremely interesting. Uh, Eloisa, you asked uh, already the question I was thinking about uh, was uh, what were uh, the problems uh, that we were expecting to have uh, so to implement this curriculum. I remember if you last time, uh, like in 2018, I think, we were speaking about the new curriculum and you say that teachers, they were like the main problem, right? And it seems that we are facing the same uh, situation uh, now. Uh, I don't know what is your strategy, the new strategy to, to face uh, this problem with teachers. Uh, so I'm Kim, uh, do you understand my question? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I read the message and you, you're speaking, yeah. Uh, Could you I say your, yeah, question? Okay, my question is how you, you will solve the, the problem with the teachers? Uh, the teachers who, uh, you know, are not very enthusiastic about bringing AI. To, uh, to the curriculum. How are you planning to fix this problem? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see. Uh, we uh, we will uh, try to two method. One is the change the uh, curriculum for free teachers university. Yeah, teacher training university. We have two track. One is the elementary for school uh, training university and uh, secondary school teachers for university. So we change the we will change the curriculum for free teachers training university. And the other effort is the make the, and create the teacher training course for uh, K twelve teachers. So uh, we will try to the join they join the training course about uh, one uh, five uh, for, for five years and uh, two thousand or five thousand teachers yes we'll join the recommend we'll join the uh, teacher training course so uh, we are effort just trying to to mess up i have uh, i thank you so much i have another question you say that you are in the early stage of integrating AI. How do you see the next stages in the near future for you? In your, I mean, by your experience, how do you see the next stages? Okay, we, uh, I showed the, uh, our curriculum and we, we are making and creating a textbook for students. So uh, I did not see I don't I do not see the student textbook. So we are making this textbook. So uh, I think it is important to make the uh, correct method and correct content in the uh, student textbook. So this step, next step is making the a uh, stable or uh, effective textbook for K-12 students. All right, thank you so much. It was uh, really an honor to see your presentation. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Dr. John, please help me. Uh, Beatrice, uh, Beatrice would like to, to ask something. Yes, I think I, I missed some something. So um, uh, I, I missed something on the curriculum. So first is in primary school, you mentioned that you have th about 34 hours for, per year, I mean, I imagine. It's just one, one hour a week, huh? is it? Ah, yes, because, yeah, yeah. okay. And it, it, it's, 
have you integrated AI um, or, I mean, you redouble uh, in 2022, you had 34 hours instead of 17 hours. So what you have integrated, AI or is it just a mixing a little bit? Uh, a, 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 how you, yeah, it's an immediate school, the same. You have a double time. Yeah, that's how, right. Yeah, how it worked. I mean, uh, what, what kind of uh, um, a, a curriculum you, you integrated? It's half, I mean, half time is AI, you or you mix all the time is AI. I don't know, just to understand how it, it works, the curriculum. The, just the second question, so that's why I did so. And the other that I miss is, you mentioned it about the ocean, uh, ocean pollution problem. Uh, was that problem just an example of, for example, in the curriculum, all the high school, all high schools have the same problem to be, um, to be considered? Thank you. Thank you very much, so on. Yeah, thank you. I'm so sorry, the times for elementary and middle school students, but uh, it is a national curriculum. National curriculum means you know it is a powerful and all students, yeah, uh, depends on regional or their area. All students can learn AI or a little bit, but can learn all students. So we are trying to the time is expand to all subject or informatics a subject is uh, expand the times we will try. Okay, Im Sung Jun. Please talk about Korean situation. Um, before I explain the curriculum situation, um, in in Korea we divide the uh, education system in three stages: the elementary school, middle school, and high school. Uh, now we um are we we can use um textbook for AI, um in high school. Uh, from K10 to K12. And by 2025, we will develop a middle school uh, textbook and elementary school textbook for our students. So since 2025, we will teach elementary school students and middle school students. Um, the hours will be allocated um, above 34 hours in a year because for elementary school students, they will, um, they will be taught the uh, AI education uh, once a week. So in a year, the uh, hour will be allocated um, about 34 hours. Um, but that allocated hour is for only um, AI subject, I mean the informatics education. So for integrate, integrating AI in such um, subject like social science or science, mathematics, or the Korean, uh, we can um, we can mix or we can con we can converse some um, subject with AI or informatics education. So uh, that um, the teachers um, have a, a responsibility for convergence the subjects. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, we have Freddy here today. Nice to meet you, Freddy. Uh, please, uh, where are you from? Uh, how did you know about our meeting? Um, hi, I don't know if I, good morning, good evening, or good night, uh, <laughs> yes. because I see uh, people of the world. Um, I am a friend of Beatrice Rapacini. I am from Italy. Uh, ah. My name is Alfredo. Alfredo is for friends. Benvenuto. And, um, 
I am a teacher in Italian school in Sicily. I am from Catania, uh, close to Etna. Do you know Balkan? Yeah, Chile. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, thank you. And for I, am a, I am collecting data for organize a new course online uh, um, for I, uh, IA and the school, in the, where the teacher can use uh, artificial intelligence in the school with uh, other uh, other teachers and uh, with the students. Oh, it's a very interesting and, and a very very interesting talk for <laughs> new talk for, yes. for, for <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so that's so and and in Korea you. you see they are they are making they already had books about that to integrating okay. into the curricula. We are just, <laughs> so they so more <laughs> ahead than uh, than we are. So it's interesting. But this uh, I, I have a particular uh, question about book stuff because we learning from learning creative learning that uh, that philosophy that we should learning by playing by interacting not from books uh, how it has been for many <laughs> centuries i see uh, so uh, when you say books to teach or to, for the students use for learning about ai uh, how are those books um, figured uh, is uh, past step by step or some do this because I, I saw in the whole world when traveling, for example, people teaching scratch by showing use these bots. So you make the, 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 the character goes five steps ahead or behind. So what's the philosophy behind this? Nothing. The tools are new, but the system is the, all the same. So I saw here in Brazil people uh, doing a lot of uh, stuff with Scratch, but they stopped putting the, the <laughs> whiteboard, all the steps to do. So what is new on this? That's my question. Uh, please, so when King or John, could you? <laughs> I think that problem is uh, all subject, all education field. So uh, I think that, uh, that beyond the teacher's, teacher's competence to teach, uh, because uh, they can learn, they can teach the, reconstruct the textbook content uh, for their student level or student situations. Yes. The teachers know their students' uh, status, so uh, they should and they uh, must reconstruct the uh, textbook content for uh, their student. So it is uh, just uh, only AI education field problem. It's all education field problem. So. I, I believe teacher's power and teacher's competency. Uh, Eloisa, your mic, we don't hear you. Oh, Incheon, Cheon, would you like to add something? Thanks, Adele. <laughs> uh, about this, uh, because now you are teaching elementary school, aren't you? I saw some posts. Congratulations. <laughs> um, unfortunately, in elementary school, we don't have yet um, AI educa education textbook. So can I introduce an um, AI education textbook in high school students? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. we will be happy to see. Yeah, okay. Um, please, please <laughs> wait a second.
Okay, um, this is one of our AI education textbook in high school. Um, we have seven um, published company. I mean, we have national curriculum for AI education, but um, from uh, with the national curriculum, um, the uh, private uh, published company can um, publish the textbook and they need to be um, uh, submit to Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Education will be uh, will will um, accept the uh, company's private company's textbook. So let me introduce one example um, in Korea. Um, first, um, in AI education textbook, we will introduce the impact um, of A AI and what will be changed in uh, our society by A AI. And then um, after that, um, yeah. Uh, we will we will introduce them. Uh, we will we introduce um, uh, agent system uh, because every uh, AI will be used by agent system. And after that, we teach them. Uh, we teach the students about perception or searching and uh, training. Like how, how can AI um, recognize the word like computer vision or text recognition? Mm -hmm. And this is how to search uh, like a, a wheat based search or depth depth based search and we teach them uh if or then because uh the classical ai can use if and then um, for making some rules and then we teach um deep learning for them uh, for students like a convolution neural network or recurrent neural network, and um, they can develop the uh, AI model with big data. For example, they will use MNIST dataset to um, classify uh, zero to nine, and also they will um, classify uh, using some AI platforms like uh, Scratch, Entry, or any other um, AI platforms. Uh, after that, we teach them about ethics because the ethics of AI is very important in, in uh, these days. So we teach them how to train AI uh, with um, ethical um, strategies. Uh, maybe that's all. So um, teacher in Korea um, can um, reconstruct with this AI education textbook in their school because every student has own um, concept or um, some of them can learn AI better, but some of them can uh, learn AI uh, worse. So uh, teachers can reconstruct the AI curriculum or AI textbook for them. So they can use the unplugged activity or some kinds of um easy uh, platform with no code platforms or they can make a, a project uh, with uh, AI education textbook um oh. unfor unfortunately Impressive. there <laughs> yeah no English version textbook now yeah 
So maybe in in few months you're going to to explain this better for us. <laughs> maybe you you have another presentation to explain everything because a lot of <laughs> things comes to our mind and doubts and things we'd like to ask you. Let's let's plan it if everybody agrees. Okay, it'd be great. Okay. Uh, please, uh, it's open now for questions. Who who wants to to mention comments or question? You can can be free to do it. Okay, Bob. Hi. Oh, sorry, Bob. Please come on. Hello. Uh, am I audible? Can Hello. I, I'm audible. Yes. Yes. We can hear you. Yes. Can you turn uh, on your the now. camera, please? Can you? Uh, I'm still commuting. Um, okay. I'm still commuting, so. <laughs> it's a little now, bit, uh, now I know so. you too because it's I married to. So I didn't know who we. <laughs> now I know that it's you. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Just give me okay. another couple of minutes, and I can switch on my camera. Um, I, I just one question. Um, uh, so, so Suwan, you mentioned the different types of AI programs that you're using. I, I could understand only Scratch and Python. What were those other programs that you mentioned? Uh, maybe you can just type them in the chat box, please. Uh, could you could you understand? So, Hanky, uh, Barv, it oh. the, the the sound is not very good. So, please, could you okay. repeat the question and slowly? Yes, yes. Uh, slower. Yes, I'll repeat it again. Please. Um. Uh, so, uh, so one you mentioned some. Uh, uh, programs that you're using for teaching AI. Um, I could understand, uh, I could uh, uh, scratch and Python, uh, but the other programs, I could not catch their names uh, clearly. Um, can you please uh, like, uh, just if you can type them in the chat box, so we can also explore them, or are they only uh, like uh, exclusive to South Korea? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the entry is uh, similar scratch, in Korean version, Scratch and oh, okay. okay. Yes, and Orange is uh, open source. Yeah, it's oh, how, how do you say it? O o Orange. Open source, Orange. Okay, I, I can uh, I write the uh, URL. And Kodak okay. is uh, okay. the open source for tape for tape data science tool. So, oh, okay. And machine learning. Um, model making so okay i will uh, thank you write the uh, yeah you are there okay Okay, um, Barf, uh, would you like to ask anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, one more question, Zuan and team. Um, how long uh, is the duration of this um, course for teachers that you have for teachers, you know, for helping them learn AI? What is it, how many months or is it like for one whole year or how, or how long is the duration? Okay, in, uh, I already mentioned uh, teacher training courses, uh, different their situation. Mm -hmm. So we made uh, about uh, one week course and oh, okay. uh, about 30 hours or 60 hours course for teacher training course. And okay. for free teachers training university curriculum is about uh, one year or two year uh, courses, about six, uh, six grade, six, uh, two classes uh, a semester. So we will try to uh, more times for teacher training course. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I just want to. In, in Korea, we yeah. have we have two kinds of teacher training system. One is for pre-service teacher, and the other one is for in-service teacher. Maybe it will be same in worldwide. 
for pre-service teacher, um, especially for undergraduate students, we, I don't know, the teacher trainer, uh, the professor will teach um, the pre uh, undergraduate students for being a teacher. And for in-service teacher, um, the Ministry of Education and um, the educational office in every city uh, has uh, um, their own uh, system to train uh, in-service teacher. And also in um, um, University of Education, uh, they have a graduate uh, school, so they can um, accept the uh, school teacher as graduate students and they teach them uh, for retrain uh, because of using AI. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Um, someone else would like to, to comment and say something, ask something. I saw that Gabriele has mentioned something on the chat that would you like to, to, to talk it aloud, please? No. No, oh, so I think so. Adele, any more questions? Uh, okay, and I just one question maybe. Uh, you are teaching now AI in your official curriculum. Beside this, do you have like AI competition, any, Think to you know uh, to enhance this learning outside the school clubs competitions something like this. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, it is a very <laughs> huge huge question because you uh, we have in uh, in public school curriculum and outside uh, software and AI camp. So in Ministry of Education or uh, the, the government, uh, corporate government uh, try to um, many program in school program or out of school program. So uh, it is a very, uh, I think, uh, 선생님, 이거 뭐라고 설명해야 되죠? 이거 캠프 프로그램 너무 많은데, 우리 캠프 프로그램, 음, yeah, um, okay, I, I will, yeah, um, I will introduce a... next time. <laughs> a complex yes, problem very... because uh, we have too many kinds of. Uh, club activities or after school activities or um, camp program in vacation um, by um, public school or private company and also some um, institution in um, Korea. So I think we should introduce it uh, next time. <laughs> uh I, I saw now in the chat that there's uh, Gabrielle is uh, asking something, but unfortunately he hasn't have doesn't have a camera. But he he made some interesting questions, such as uh, how did you approach students with disabilities or learning problems? Uh, would you like to to answer uh, for everybody, John? Please. Um, about the special education? Yes, 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 please. I think it's uh, interesting for everybody. Uh -huh. ah. mm, in Korea, we have um, the national curriculum for elementary school, uh, middle school, and high school. And also, we have one more curriculum for special education uh, for dis disabilities or some uh, students uh, who has learning problems. So we also hire a teacher um, for special education um, in every um, school, like as elementary school, middle school, and high school. And also we have a special um, school in Korea. Uh, 
uh, all, all um, teachers and all school uh, is a public school, not the private school. So we have own uh, special education system. So every special education um, teachers uh, should teach special education uh, by national special education uh, system. So the teachers uh, can teach AI in their own uh, special education curriculum. Um, I also participate in uh, one um, project for, this, uh, for special education. Um, I have uh, developed um, kind of private uh, textbook for teaching AI and software, the programming education for um, this, uh, special education uh, students. Cool. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> Super. And, and, and how did it go? Uh, did you have already some results from this experience? Um, could the students um, make how the, how was it? Uh, yes, I also um, have a textbook for special education students teaching AI, but uh, also it's only in uh, Korean. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you, you, you will have a presentation for next time. <laughs> a lot of questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, Barve, please go on. <laughs> yeah, one more question. Um, the, you showed the, the program, uh, you know, you showed something about uh, visually challenged children uh, doing the coding. Um, so how did you do that? You, it, it was there in one of your slides. Uh, you know, scratch coding for visually challenged children. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, can I, shall I repeat the question again? Yes, please. I didn't understand. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I think my mic is not working that well. That's better. Okay. Now. Um, <laughs> so um, my question is, um, in one of your slides, uh, you showed um, you know, a picture of um, of a you know block program uh, for visually challenged children. So how uh, you're teaching coding and AI for ch uh, for children who are visually challenged. So how how are you how are you doing that? Uh, just just in relation with the previous question for students with uh, disabilities. Okay, my my slide content is the making the student help the visually uh, visually problem visually uh, uh, okay, disability student can help yes, yes. make the uh, pro AI program. It, it, it is not teach uh, visually uh, disability oh. student. Yeah. Well, how, how do we make the program through some, uh, is it through some, uh, uh, some sounds, some uh, like vo vocal commands or they, are they able to do, put the blocks together step by step, or how is yes, it? Yes, uh, yes, right. Happening? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because uh, we met one um, educator from Australia, so she's also doing something similar, um, like uh, block-based coding, but for uh, visually challenged uh, children, blind children. Uh, it takes a bit of time, but uh, they're able to do step by step. Uh, some uh, coding unplug activities also for them. How to put. <laughs> Uh, how to put the program step by step. Okay, thank mm, you. In my in my case, um, uh, last year I have developed a text for textbook for um who has a problem in intelligent uh, learning, mm -hmm. not not for um blind or not for um uh, problem in hearing. So um, uh, this year, uh, I also will uh, participate the project for the disabilities. So uh, in this time, we will um, discuss the blind because we will develop the textbook with the, the language. How can I say that? Braille. Uh, I don't know how can I say that? Uh, Braille, Braille, yeah. Braille, yeah, yeah, yes. Maybe. Yes. That, that point, yeah. Oh, 
even we, we even the best for in that this. Project. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, uh, you are, would you like to ask something? Uh, we are about to finish. So, if you have any more questions, it's time to. I think it's okay. So, I'd like to to thank you, Sovan King, for this wonderful presentation. And also to Yin Xiong uh, for helping in answer so many questions we have. Uh, I, for sure, we have a lot of to, to learn with you. Um, so that's it. I'd like to, to thank you everybody also for coming here and hoping to see you soon for the next uh, presentation and meeting of this wonderful community. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye. Please turn on your microphone and say bye-bye in your language. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ciao, ciao. Thank you very much.